Good evening and welcome back to Resident Evil 4. Hopefully you joined us last time. We've had some big battles, some boss battles. We've been trapped in a house with a horde of Ganados surrounding us. We've managed to find the president's daughter, Ashley, and we're basically now trying to find our way out, way out for one. And also, is there a cure for whatever has been injected into us, which we'll find out a little bit more about later on. So we're going to jump into it. Let's go into the next area. And if you do try and open this door, you'll get this message. Looks like it's some sort of retinal scanner. That's something to keep in mind. And I've mentioned it, at least in the last video, probably the past couple of videos. TMP is very, very good all-round weapon. It's very good for specific scenarios as well. And this will be one of them coming up. It's especially good in situations where you really only need one bullet to do a job. Whether that's shooting an item that's up high that you can't reach. Whether it's shooting an enemy in the leg to drop them down on the ground so you can then go in and hit them with a knife or in other situations where you need to get enemies to fall off certain objects and this is one of them so we jump on this lift now there you go so if you hit these at least once now see you know you might waste for about a hit got a hundred percent hit rate so far now see if this guy these guys get near they will start throwing things at you so just wait till that red light flashes on them. You've got time to be a little bit patient. I think that might be all of them. There might be one more. Yeah, there's one more coming. Oop, shot two shots there by mistake. Pretty straightforward. I think we used... I'm not sure how many bullets we used there, but we only wasted one bullet. Now, you could wait for them to get closer and shotgun them off, for example, and that would maybe hit all of them off. But again, I would say shotgun ammo or handgun ammo is a bit more valuable per round. So we're just going to jump in here, pick up a few things. I am going to get my shotgun ready because we're going to go down here and along and there will be some enemies. Oh, that was close. Nearly got hit there. And we'll go back to TMP. Do the old slice them up. And there'll be a nice item in here. A yellow cat's eye. And if you look at the cat's eye itself, we can now combine it with the beer stein and that is now full so it's the three slots are filled we can now sell that for its full value so we've just head back the way we came and then we're heading down here and um got some big decisions to make here we've got the merchant and i'll let you know what we're planning to do in a second so i'm going to show you what the plan of action is first of all we'll have gonna have a quick look there's not going to be enough room when i do this the first time but we are going to look to buy a single use rocket launcher because there is a boss coming up so i've already sold a couple of things so this is the space it takes up, which is a lot. We're going to need to free, in essence, three full spots, as in six. I think what I'm going to do is sell a bit of ammo. We've got a lot of handgun ammo. So we could potentially sell 59, and that would free up those spots there. And then maybe the flash grenade as well. So yeah, I've gone back and sold those. So we're going to buy the rocket launcher now. We're absolutely full up. That's 30 grand, but I think it's well spent for the next boss. Stay outside. Ashley, go hide. Yeah. Again, another quick time event. I 
Hasta luego. That's what you think. Just made him more angry, if anything. Now there are two ways to do this. Obviously you can just take them out with pure weapons and there's bowels around and things like that, that's fine. You can shoot with a rock launcher. Now this boss is one of the only ones that's not a one hit kill because he's actually in two stages. So you could hit him with a rocket launcher first to get him to his second stage. Or vice versa, take him out with a sort of the handgun or the shotgun ammo first. But then when he's in his second stage, you can just hit him with the rocket launcher. I think I'm going to use the rocket launcher first. So there we go, second stage. Because I think he's harder to hit myself with uh, in the second stage. And the rocket launcher is pretty unwieldy. I did press the uh, dodge buttons, but it didn't work. That was pretty straightforward as you see now if you go in with that and of course on pro difficulty for example it's a lot more difficult and remember earlier when we mentioned about the door with the retinal scanner and that's handy as well now what we'll do is we'll go around mopping this place up there is plenty of ammo around mainly for the battle there's also some, some health items upstairs which will help me because i'm pretty sure there's a yellow and a red we can co combine those and increase our health total and we need a bit of a heal up anyway so i just go around mop all of those up and we'll look at the next part so i have just done a heal off screen with the yellow green and red herbs mixed together so that's also increased my overall health and we're now at about what the the sort of nine o'clock mark on the on the clock there so yeah i'm gonna pick up a nice bit of ammo so obviously we sold a fair bit to make space as soon as you use the rocket launcher it's disappeared because it's one use only so you get the space back um yeah and i think it's worthwhile doing that way and as you can see the boss was relatively easy with that with the tmp as well just blasted him i did take a hit maybe just um slightly mistimed the dodge but other than that it was pretty much spot on and then what we're going to do is just jump through here and i'll get through to the next cutscene. are you okay Leon? So we've travelled back up, back to a save point, back to the merchant. All we need to do now is head back to where the, the lifts were. Head back up that way, there's no enemies in the meantime. And um, then we need to head to that door where we use the retinal scanner. So we'll join up back there. And we're back at this door, but this time we'll be able to get through. What I just realised is when you pick it up, it says it's a glass eye, but this is a retinal scanner, which is for real life retinas. So that doesn't make any sense. Now, as you can see, there's some enemies overhead, but look behind you, there's some ammo. Now, I think this is here just in case you have literally run out of ammo because normally, if you didn't have any ammo, um, it would be pretty dangerous but you could knife your way through in this scenario you have to have ammo uh, for a specific reason which you'll see in a moment so if I go up here there we go it's like something out of a horror film but we'll shoot this there uh, shoot this see if you didn't have the gun it'll just keep going and it'll just demolish you now we could just run for it but what I'm going to do is when we get past here, you've got to be careful. Because, yeah. Damn. Right, let's try and get this guy's head off. 
have did got a little bit lucky there. Managed to knock that out of the sky, which is good. Didn't get there in time. Oh, crap, didn't mean to do that. Can we take map one? No, we'll go for the red nine because that's got a pretty good critical rate as well. There we go. Is that everyone? I think it is. But you get quite a lot of ammo, you get some good money. I think it's worthwhile just taking out the enemies. But you can just run past and you can get to this bit or you can keep running. We'll see in a moment. And we'll just keep running to the next cutscene. is there is a merchant here which is going to be great and we'll also clear out some uh, some items here so we'll we'll jump into the merchant after we've cleared this area come around the back of the uh, where the merchant is because there's some money there's some uh, boxes over here some items there is a snake in that right hand box so watch out for that so yeah just make sure you clear all of this out and then we'll jump into the merchant but there's going to be some big improvements we can make to our weapon loadout what are you buying? So first of all, we're going to buy the large attache case. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Going to buy the treasure Is that map. All? <laughs> Thank you. And if we look down at the weapons here, we could now potentially buy a black tail, which I'm not going to do. I don't know if I've, I have bought it before. It's a quick gun. It's got quite a good firing speed in the end. It's quite manoeuvrable. But I just think the Red Nine is just, it's just the best handgun, I think. This is like a Magnum type gun i'm not going to buy that because you can get a free one later on riot gun and the semi-auto rifle so we're going to buy these in place of what we had which was the standard shotgun which has done its job and we didn't bother purchasing the rifle earlier and this was why because this is going to be your in-game sniper rifle but yeah first of all we'll buy the riot gun we've sold the shotgun there we go <laughs> thank you and we'll also buy the semi-auto rifle so this is what it's looked like in terms of storage. I just like it quite neat in, in a certain order. The only downside is that obviously we've been selling rifle ammo because we didn't need it, which is fine. We'll pick up some more in the future anyway. In fact, I think there's some coming up quite soon in the next area. Just to quickly throw in, there is a mine thrower in here as well that you can buy. I've never actually bought it, I don't think. Maybe on one playthrough I did. There are other weapons you can use in place of that and I just didn't find it too useful. So we're going to improve the so red nine. <laughs> We're not going to increase the capacity because it's actually full at the moment. The riot gun will improve that, that power. <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? The rifle will improve, <laughs> but again, not the capacity because that's at full. And the TMP will improve the firepower. <laughs> that's pretty much it. But as you can see, we have well over 200 grand. Now we've only got 70. I mean, 70 is still a great amount to have. Yeah, but what we're going to do is we're going to head into the next area now. It's a bit of a tricky one, the next one. And we will get some rifle ammo straight away by the looks of it. I think I'm sure there's some here. Yeah, there is. Now we're going to put that rifle ammo to good use. And what we'll do is you can buy um, an actual scope for this. And it's slightly different. The same scope that you can attach to the original rifle. I just don't think it's very useful. You get the scope with it anyway. I managed to hit both of them once, but it, it didn't kill them, unfortunately. Well, it killed one of them. So got a little bit unlucky there, but yeah, if you can time that shot, great. You've got to be careful here, because as you can see, there's uh, enemies around. So what we'll do is we'll make a run for it and go left here. This cannon will show up a little bit later. 
Now what we can do is we can shoot his barrel. That should kill him, and it does. And that stops one of those trebuchet type things. And we're pretty safe here at the moment. What we'll do is we'll shoot that. Just gonna make a run for it. Nearly got us. <laughs> but as you can see, there is a route in through this little window. We'll take him out. And there is some enemies coming this way. One of them is side guy with a mask on. Now these guys you can't headshot, so you've got to be careful. There's a lot of sound cues, which is great because uh, you can keep an ear out for not just the music, but the actual enemies themselves. Now what we want to do is... Ooh. That was bad timing. I'm going to quickly exit it in a panic. Move him to Ashley. There we go. Now what we can do is, if Ashley gets out of the way... I am hitting Ashley's armor there. So there you go. This is a different animation. Instead of a kick on these guys, it's a suplex instead. Hmm. That was a little bit sloppy. We'll use this cannon now. And there you go. Now the music's turned off, so you know you're at least safe for now. There's some items in this area that you want to mop up, mop up, so we'll just quickly go through them. There's a nice chest with a bangle in here. Yellow herb, always useful. I know this area you can go through because of that cannon. What are you now, buying? there is an upgrade available for the right gun again, the power. I think I'm going to leave that for now. Now, the, the shotgun is really good. There is another shotgun in the future that we'll get. We're not going to min-max it like we did with the other shotgun where we just did not upgrade it at all. We, we may upgrade the firepower on this, but we'll see how we get on with it. But in the future, there is a, a different shotgun, which is not quite as powerful, but it upgrades really well. It's my favorite shotgun, and it takes up less space too. We decided to lay low in a castle, but it looks like it was a bad move. Meaning? Well, it appears that this castle's also connected with the Los Illuminados. They must not get many visitors here, because they're giving me one hell of a welcome. Sounds bad. I have an idea, Leon. I need you to... What? Repeat, Hunnigan. Great. Just my luck. So, we're in the next area now. Can I take the sword from the wall? Now, there will be some enemies here. Um... Yeah, I want to go around this way, actually. Want to get ourselves, which seems a bit counter to it, but want to get ourselves in a corner. so we're not surrounded, which makes sense. and his head smashed. Sometimes the suplex will smash the head, but it's, again, it's luck. Now this one is the gold, so we're gonna take the gold. We're gonna replace that with the platinum sword, and then we'll do the same downstairs in reverse. But obviously there's a, there's a guy blocking our way here. If we can suplex him, 
And uh, because he's in different robes, he tends to be a little bit more powerful. You can go by the, the colours and things like that. Oops. So he's getting quite a few hits. And he's also sprung into the, uh, the parasite head. Now we'll try and take him out with the sniper. The sniper is very, very good at taking out the heads. And now we can um, replace this sword. And yeah, once you replace that sword, you just head back up top and this door has now appeared and you can open it. Leon! Lewis! I've got something for you guys. Uh, what? Oh, shit! I must have dropped it when I was running away from them. Dropped what? A drug that'll stop your convulsions. Look, I know you're carriers. You've been coughing up blood, right? Yeah. And you? Yes. Damn it! The eggs have hatched. We don't have much time. What are you talking about? I have to go back and get it. Let me come with you. No. You stay here with Leon. He is better with the ladies. I'm sure. Why are you... It makes me feel better. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> I was starting to wonder when you might notice us. Who are you? Me llamo Ramon Salazar, the eighth castellan of this magnificent architecture. I have been honored with the prodigious power from the great Lord Sadler. I've been expecting you, my brethren. No thanks, bro. My, my. We've got a feisty one. If you care for your own well-being, I suggest you surrender yourself and simply become our hostage. Or, Mr. Scott, you can give us the girl because you're not worth a penny, I'm afraid. You can die. I'm never turning into one of them. Never! Got that right. We'll find a cure. So there you go, that's closed off. And this has something missing, which we'll get onto later. Now don't forget to keep your eye out. There's a jewel up top here. Gem, rather, more than a jewel. And then what we're going to do is we're going to head right down here. See, there's a block door here. More will become clear in a moment. I'm just doing a bit of a tidy up here. Um, we're going to leave that for later. This thing that you can only shoot down. And again, there's a reason for that. So when you get to these flames that you can't get past, turn to your right, and there is a key fairly blatantly stuck in the uh, in the wall. Prison key. So we'll head back here and um, this is quite a dangerous dangerous area to go into. This guy. So as you can see, I've sort of walked him up there. Wait. Now what you want to do is, he's actually blind. What you want to do is, just go over there. Uh, red line this time. If you walk slowly, like this, he can't hear you. Now if you get too near him, he may sense you and hit you anyway. There's these bells here that you can either shoot or you can knife and he'll get distracted and go for them. But it's all just about being patient. Luckily there's no other enemies to avoid. Help! Her shouting apparently doesn't uh, doesn't lure him at all. If I suddenly sprint he'll hear me and go for me. Oh. 
Got a bit lucky there. He didn't hear me, but he was just randomly going in my direction. So I'm going to run, and then that might move him a little bit towards where I am. Now he's a bit confused, so he doesn't know where I am. So I'm going to head back this way. While his back's turned, you want to quickly take a shot because he can suddenly turn around. Take the shot while I can. <laughs> so he's stuck on the wall, so you've got a few seconds. So quickly go for him and then run. But then walk. Because he goes to your last known location that you heard. Now, sniper rifle's a good one to use in this one as well. There you go. So all you need to do is aim for that. I think it's La Plagas or La Plaga that's on, on their backs. Similar to the ones that pop out the heads when the heads explode. Just the parasite. Now when you get to the top, just be careful because... Look here. You see this guy? And this is why we didn't shoot down this down earlier. Come on. Head towards me. Good, that's damaged him. And now because there's only one of them, it's a little bit easier to, to take out. It's the groups that'll get you in trouble. Ah, he's exploded. That was um, maybe a little bit unlucky. A red nine. Not much luck so far with the uh, criticals. There we go, got it in the end. Now we're not going to reload the red nine, because we're on zero. And if we can avoid it and get to the next mission, we may have a, a good free upgrade again. And another thing to call out as well, some of these pictures have gold hidden behind them. So check those. And it's only from this area onwards, I believe. So we want to be careful here as well. See how he wasn't there? I've got managed to shoot his, uh, his bomb or his flare. Still not 100% sure what it is. I thought there was another guy. He was suplex. His head didn't explode, but now I can finish him off. And there we go. We've reloaded all of our weapons. Forget about the whole min, max, and ammo. We're going to need it for this next part. Just gonna quickly zoom in. There's gonna be lots of enemies here and it's gonna be tricky. Now again, you can use Ashley as a as a lure because she can't be damaged, which she normally could be. If you can lure the enemies one way. So that's the first time we see these shield guys. Pretty sure. Fine. Come on, head towards me. Try and get them as close as possible. Okay, we'll go for the shotgun now. Hopefully we'll get them the first time. We didn't. There's more coming now. Close are they? Not that close, so we'll quickly get a few shots in at least. Uh, ah, got lucky with the head as well, which is good. Not worry about picking up the items yet, apart from ones that are already spawned on the floor, because they may disappear. making a slow way around. It's good for us. What we'll do is we'll get the sniper rifle out because these are really good for headshots. There he is. I wonder where he had gone. So 
So, see, first time. I mean, that was still lucky. As you can hear, there are more people. More Ganados. I could wait for these later on to clear them out, but I'm just gonna, I want them all to sort of group together anyway. There are some times where you wanna split them out and there are some times where you wanna group them all together. Now he is separate, so we'll go in for the suplex if we can. Just got it in time on his head first as well. That's brilliant. Shield guys, shotgun always. And now we can go in maybe with the TMP. Suplex him. Got lucky again. Good stuff. Got his head smashed off. Now we want to head down here where well, there's going to be some further enemies. Just watch your surroundings because there's three different ways you can head down here. And you don't want to get caught out. So there's one there for starters. There's another one. I suplex him. Got lucky again. And hopefully, I can just knife him to death. Good stuff. I think that's all the enemies for this section until we go into the next door. Just want to make sure. So again, what we'll do is we'll first of all pick up the items. And this is where the weight command is actually first used for one of the puzzles. So you want Ashley to be on this tile. Wait. Tell her to wait. And then head over into this one. There's quite a few puzzles like that in the game where it requires two people at once. Follow me. Now we could try wait. and rush through. Follow me. What I'm going to do wait. is I'm going to ask Ashley to wait there. Again, is a little bit of a, a lure. There's a gap in the ceiling you've got to watch out for. And at this point, it's just being a little bit patient. They will come through the door. We could rush out there. Again, just keep an eye out. Sometimes enemies will drop through there. But with Ashley being there, she should give us a warning if someone comes through there as well. I like these metal doors because they take a while to break down. And what we're going to do is we are going to throw in some grenade here. And just get our shotgun ready. Killed three enemies in one there. And because it takes a while for them to load, sorry, to break down the door, they're all gathering in this one place because there's like a bottleneck. So then you get two or three of them at once, which is brilliant for the, the shotgun and the grenades. There will be some enemies here, I think. There's ah, one of those guys with the, uh, the golden mask. I didn't mean to reload. I do find sometimes if I'm trying to be too quick, I accidentally reload. Right. Yeah, we'll not bother going to knife him. We'll just take him out. So what we'll do is... You can... I'm going to get me to do it. If you ask Ashley to do it, it's slower. But it means that you're free to then pick off the enemies if, if any are left and, and come to get you. A little bit more protection. And this part can be quite difficult if Ashley doesn't have the armor. Now, I've just cleared the side rooms that if you come up the stairs and backtrack to your right and left, there are items in there. Look, there's a crank over there. And again, this is the teamwork part. So what you want to do is give Ashley, Ashley a boost either side is fine because th there are two sides you need to go to anyway so it doesn't really matter which one you start at now if she does not have the armor this is pretty difficult because there's enemies that start up here and they start going after Ashley and you've got to protect her while she tries to get to the, uh, the levers now there are people that come to me as well so it's like a double a double whammy I suppose you know you've got You've got to look after yourself, and you've got to look after Ashley at the same time, so it can become quite difficult. I would say, you know, use Sniper to cover Ashley when she's... Because the guys on the top are quite slow to walk, whereas the guys that come to you seem to be very quick. So I'd say focus on Ashley. When she's got a gap like this, then you would focus on the enemies that are near you. You know, keep looking over this way for enemies that are coming towards you. Let's see how slow they are. There'll be more coming up here. She's got the first land path and there should be some more enemies coming towards me in a moment. I'm just going to quickly... 
just to speed things up a bit. Get him knocked down. Don't necessarily have to kill him. It just means that she can turn the handle now. And yeah, she's got picked up, but again, we don't have to wait too much. Watch out for guys near me. Totally missed a few shots there and wasted some bullets. Again, don't worry about Ashley if you've got the, amp, the armor. Got very lucky there. You see, see that um, clubby just swung at me. Now at this point, she's pretty much surrounded, so one will pick her up. But then there's, because there's another one there, I've just killed him anyway. Um, it'll take quite a while. So if you haven't got the armor, protect her at all costs. One thing to note as well, which is not necessary in this run, is the yellow, green and red herbs that you can combine to increase health also work on Ashley. And oh, what do I want to do? We'll get her down first. I don't know where he's going now. I actually didn't need to worry about him too much because you can now just start jumping over here and I don't believe they can get to you. But that can be quite tricky. You need to make sure you've got enough snipe, snipe out ammo, really. But as long as you're managing, you know, prioritise Ashley, knock the enemies down near you, even if you don't kill them. If you just knock them down for now, that's great. And we're into the next save area. Just one thing to note as well, there's a... If you look at the eye of this statue, as you walk in, get past the first statue, turn around. There's a spinal net. Some items around the room that I've picked up. Let's just jump into the, to the merchant and see if he's got any upgrades. So I'm going to upgrade the red nine. We are not right down on capacity, but I'll tell you what, let's have a look at the other ones first. Right gun, I'm not going to upgrade yet, I don't think. Is that all? Sniper rifle. Thank you. Let's have a quick look. Yep, sniper rifle purposely kept at zero and the shotgun as well. Is that all? <laughs> and there's another capacity already, so I'm going to leave that one for next time. TMP, increase the firepower, increase the reload. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, riot gun. I don't think we need to worry about increasing the capacity on this one at all. We're going to wait for the next shotgun that's available and we'll fully upgrade this one for now. Yeah, I'm going to leave that as is. Yeah, so for the next section, we need to just head down here. You all right? I'm fine! Leave me alone! Ashley, wait! <laughs> Swinks. Salazar, how'd you... We've checked the line. We didn't want you telling everyone any unnecessary information. Where's Ashley? Ah, oh, so she fell into one of our wonderful traps. We'll make sure we find her. Don't you worry about her. Oh, yes. I let our miserable insects out for some exercise down in the sewer. Thanks. That should keep me company, because boredom kills me. I look forward to our next encounter. In another life. So yeah, so now we're playing with, without Ashley for a little bit. And this next section is... I wouldn't say I don't like it. I do find it a bit tricky. Quite creepy as well. So get to that in a moment but you can turn right here and there's an item now in new game plus if you've got a specific scope which i'll not tell you exactly what it is it makes it a lot easier you can just see not even an outline but you can see something there so what we're going to do is take a shot at it and we killed it in one which is good so we're going to head back to tmp but we're going to reload this because these guys are tough Now, what you want to do is just head around here. There's only one. I'm sure there's only two here. 
He's not dead. Shoot again. He's not dead again. I swear there's normally two here. Yeah, and these start drop, dropping cat's eyes. They're really good. They can be put into certain items, but also you get a lot of them, and some of them can be just sold separately, and you get some good money for them. Now, you want to be careful here. If you look up top, there's a one just over here. Maybe. Yeah, we got him. There's another one. Ooh. There we go. Now he's not the last of it. Okay, I'm sure there's another one. Oh, I don't like this. Maybe I'm remembering remembering the, the hardest difficulty. But we'll head round to the left now. And then eventually get into this uh, like control room type thing. Not control room, but... Again, just double swiping, just in case. I didn't think there was um, snakes in there, but... So now we're draining the water so we can get through to the next part. But as you can imagine, it's not like the coast is going to be clear. I actually totally forgot to sell the beer stein that we've already filled up. Spinals and velvet blues you can sell separately. And here are the green eyes, so what we'll do is we'll combine the red into the butterfly lamp we've just picked up. And the green and I normally just try and keep at least one spare of each color the green are the most common then red and then there's a purple I believe and um, because there are some more butterfly lamps later on but we're gonna head back out Ooh. Right here. Do you know what? All this time, I knew we came from there, but I didn't realise you could hit him before he actually dropped. Now, I know there is another one. Again, unless on this difficulty there isn't, but there is another one about to turn up now. I'm just going to quickly run. Quickly run to here. And I'll get the shotgun out. Where's he gone? Damn. Whew. So you get another red cat's eye, which is good. Now will be a good time to use one of these anyway, because we've got two of them and a third up and coming, so we might as well use it when our health's a little bit lower. Just to increase that overall health. That's the last of those insects, which is good. The next part is a fairly simple... Um, just gotta be careful, just dodge through them. Jump after it goes, and then there's a double one at the end, so you just wait till they pass and run through. Fairly simple. Don't forget this item on the right. Head through, and there should be some ladders, and there is. Ah, so... Yeah, this is a good one for... If you've got grenades ahead of this bit, but uh, I'll show you what I mean in a moment. So what you want to do is probably get an incendiary first of all. Now a normal grenade would be the best option here if you had one. I'm going to aim down here and I'm going to try and get this red guy first. Got him. If you don't get every single one it's not the end of the world. But if you can... There we go, now they're trapped, which is good. And I don't want to make it to there, which is good. Oh, these guys, what are you doing? I don't know why they're all running up there. Hell yeah.
to go for the Red Nine, I think. I don't know, we'll go for the Sniper. Oh, where's he going? There we go. Now, the reason why you want to take them out, because they all drop uh, Spinals, as I call them. This guy drops a Pendant, I believe. Yeah, and that's worth a lot of money. So, yeah, just doing that gets you a fair bit of money. You want to head right back up the ladder. You want to jump over here because there's a slightly newer area opened within this now compared to last time. And you see the merchant, instead of being downstairs, he's now upstairs. Then you want to head back over, not to the first one over there, but to this one. And again, jump over. And there's a lever on the right hand side here, which you open. That just unlocks all of the doors. You're now free to pretty much go anywhere. There is an item here, so we'll open this. Another mask. And what we'll do is... Where's the merchant again? Is he over the side? I'm oh, just jumping over. Doesn't matter. We'll head up the stairs to the merchant. So first of all, I think we'll make sure that we get rid of... The pendant. We'll obviously leave these. The, the beer stain that's got all of them in. We'll sell, sell the individual items that don't go into anything. So again, we've got well over 100,000 now. I'll sell one green eye, keep a couple of spare. Don't really need to sell any of that. Tune up for rifle capacity we're going to go for because we're down to six. We may not get lower than that. I'm just going to do it. Now this section is a... Uh, I think it's a, a pretty tricky section myself. A bit of a, I wouldn't say boss battle, but yeah, a little bit different. So we'll open this door and hopefully I'll see what I mean. So he's sort of the boss guy. Be careful because managed to get them. Well, there will be a guy. Hopefully I'll come to the left. When he does, that'll just uh, kill him. I don't know if there's anyone left down here. I don't think there is. You see, I know there's that guy over there, but he's on a slightly different section. There's a, a bit of a loop going on in here in this in this section, which we'll see as we progress on. Oh, there is one guy there. That's fine. This bit isn't really the difficult bit at all, um, but I would say one of the parts towards the end is a little, can be a little bit tricky. Now there's a guy with a mask up here, so what we'll do is make him, will he come down? Yeah, we'll try and lure him down a little bit. And I think we'll take one shot at him. He should roll down the stairs as well and shoot him. He didn't. didn't take too many hits actually. That red nine is pretty powerful. You want to get ready with the sniper rifle. Nope, it's not that bit. It's the next bit. I'll take out him. I think there's another guy there as well, is there? Oops. There we go, that makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to reload the uh, sniper rifle and there's a reason for that. Now, if you can, if you're quick, see that red guy? He's running up there. Ay, ay, ay. Ah. Didn't quite get him. We've took some health off him though, but if you can get him there, it kind of makes the rest of it a little bit easier. Got him trapped. Got him trapped. Got him. And that makes quite a big difference. I've done the loop in the wrong order. I've now con Ooh. Did not see him coming.
yeah so i think we need to go back up here now what happens normally is that red guy runs down that square there that lifts up and there's like a machine gun on it he's quite hard to hit yeah bit of a battle going on there but if you're sneaky you can get the sniper rifle in there's a velvet blue there there's a bit of a puzzle here as well so i'm going to do that in a second and this is a really straightforward puzzle it looks complicated but you pretty much just got to press each switch once which is strange so it's an easy one to remember and this bit is probably the trickiest bit for me what a pleasant surprise but i'm afraid it's ashley we need not you mr kennedy if you don't need me, then get off my back, old man. <gasps> Did you say old man, Mr. Kennedy? It might come as a surprise, but I'm only 20 years old. So you're just like all the others? A puppet of the parasites? Surely you don't think I'm the same as those diminutive ganados. The parasites, las plagas, are slaves to my will. I have absolute control. Well, I really don't give a damn. Rain or shine, you're going down. Get rid of our American friend. So, what do I want to do here? I might actually throw a flash. Just to quickly destruct these guys and then what I'll do is you just want to sort of get out the way a little bit there are guys with crossbows Try and... if I can actually hit a shot jeez just missed how did I miss that Got all my timings wrong there. Right, let's keep an eye out. So we can. Shit. Damn, that was just managed to. Nope, can't use that. To run from him. Yes, there's been a bit of chaotic version. This is not the simplest way to do it. Uh, let me switch back to the TMP. You've got plenty of ammo in that. And we'll go back to the set. Well, I actually don't need to worry about the. Oh, now there's two of them. There we go. Now, what you've got to be careful of, and again, I don't know if it's just on uh, certain difficulties I believe it's this part that can open up and then there's guys with rocket launchers that appear so I've raised that as you can see but there is another button that we need to press or do we go in this door first I always forget which way around it is no we'll go into this door first and there's a button in here and that can uh, release the next part but you got to be careful as well because no normally there's enemies I'm sure huh that is strange I swore there was enemies that come in there and this is the first part that we need out of three to unlock the main door and um, one of the first things that we come into when that wall came down, if you remember, when that wall shot came down and there was like a space, like a void. So yeah, we'll go back through this door. Oh, ideally, we would have kept the flash grenade and been able to use it here. We don't have one. But that's fine. Still got plenty of air. Uh, Coins, etc. Now this bit, we 
actually can't enter, if you look. With the help from another person, maybe be able to get through. So again, that's that sort of uh, two-player mechanic using Ashley. Not two-player, two-character, rather. So it is used sporadically. It's not used too much. But you do want to make sure that you go back there. Because as you can see, there is... The one just southeast of me here, there is that uh, star. That is a really useful item to get. Or rather, a weapon. Now, normally on the higher difficulty, there will be this maze to contend with. But um, on this difficulty, we don't have to do that. Which I'm kind of glad, because I really don't enjoy the maze. Put your hands where I can see them. Sorry, but following a lady's lead just isn't my style. Put them up now. Advice, try using knives next time. Works better for close encounters. Leon. Long time no see. Ada. So it is true. True? About what? You, working with Wesker. I see you've been doing your homework. Why, Ada? What's it to you? Why are you here? Why'd you show up like this? <laughs> See you around. Ada! So yeah, I think we're going to leave it there, guys. The end of the episode today. There's um, a unique section coming up, which, if you haven't played the game, it's quite interesting, but it involves uh, playing as a different character for a short period of time. So hopefully you'll join us for that one. Having a really good time replaying this again. Drop a like if you did enjoy the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Not just for this game, but you know what games would you like to see on the channel? My main focus is on sports games such as PES 6, PES 2021, PGA Tour 2K23. This is probably my first, well it is my first playthrough of a more story driven game, more action game, a traditional Let's Play series. I've already had a few suggestions such as Red Dead Redemption 2, which I absolutely love but I never completed. Would be a good one to go back to and actually play in full on the channel. Or just leave your suggestions down below for any alternative games. But I hope you'll join me for the next episode and we'll see where the story goes and possibly what weapons we might be getting in the future as well. Cheers.